What's good y'all, Fusion here, back with another reaction video. Thank you guys for 700 subs uh, subscribers, glad we made it. Thank you guys, um, all of our new subscribers and all of our watchers. Um, I really do appreciate it. We have more videos coming daily all August. Um, but yeah, Team USA, Serbia, they played the other day. Uh, Team USA squeaked out a win. Um, they showed great poise. Um... Took great shots. Didn't really get down on themselves. Uh, great energy. Glad they pulled out the win. I think um, it would have looked bad, <laughs> honestly. Especially since um, this is supposed to be the best team that the U.S. can come up with. Um, overall, just great showing from Steph. Durant. Joel, he showed up. He played well. James Hart. Uh, James Hart. But LeBron James. And uh, D-Book, he is playing more of a assisting role, um, playing that point, um, playing that glue guy, that uh, quote-unquote role player here, and it turns out to be working. Uh, LeBron also had six and four um, in that four-quarter lineup, so he has six points, six rebounds, and four assists. I don't know his all his numbers. Um, I I was gonna check, but that's not really the point of this video. Um, so, yeah, overall, just a great showing, good win. Steph showed why he is one of the greats. Um, LeBron's still playing well. Uh, KD's still playing well. Um, the NBA champion still didn't get no minutes. Um, I think it's funny. But, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and see what they got to say. Fourth quarter run primarily with that lineup. Steph, KD, Embiid, LeBron, Booker. The Americans, they outscored Serbia 32-15 to in the period, held their opponent to 0 of 9 from 3. And that was after Serbia made 15 of 33s through the first three quarters. Yeah, they weren't missing so any So let's welcome in the man that knows this team like no other, our senior writer Brian Windhorst, who of course is in Paris. But your days there are dwindling. We get you to come on back here. Speaking of, Brian, it was a comeback for the ages. You were in the building. What stood out to you the most? Yeah, so being around the team after the game, this was a real bonding moment for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had LeBron and Steph embracing. Joel Embiid, obviously, this is one of the biggest moments of his career. He's, un he's unfortunately not been able to deliver in the biggest moments, and here he was going head-to-head -head with one of his biggest rivals, Nikola Jokic, and frankly outplaying him down the stretch of the fourth quarter. He had Kevin Durant, who cares so much about playing for Team USA, delivering one of the biggest shots he's ever had for the national team, which is saying a lot there. I mean, this was really a, a moment that galvanized them. This is what they were looking for. And, I mean, you, you really have to make a decision Decision, Malika. You can choose to focus on wanting to look for ways to criticize them. They are there. Their defense was not good. Their, their collective was not great early in the game. You can criticize the lineups or whatever, or you can look at how big of a challenge this is. Serbia played its best possible game. They had been building towards this moment for a decade. These players had been coming together, preparing, and they, they had the perfect game at the perfect moment and pressed the U.S. to the limit, and the U.S. punched back. And they did it with tactics that they've learned together playing FIBA-style basketball over this last month. Or you can take a look at it and say, well, they should have another god his voice is annoying um but yeah good game uh lebron was playing well uh steph was their offensive uh, juggernaut he was scoring he kept up the scoring um and yeah just like he said bro serbia they played their best basketball they could possibly play and they still didn't win so they're gonna get this gold um i don't think france has enough I think that um, Wimby, I think he's he's going to have a solid game. But this is very, very important to see if Wimby can still hang with some goats. Can AD stop him? Can he stop AD? Can Embiid stop him? Can he stop Embiid? Of course, he's still got Rudy Gobert. But notice how nobody's talking about that fraud. He is not. I don't want to talk about my hate for Joel. I mean, um, for Rudy Gobert at the moment. But yeah, overall, um, I think that this France team is going to get bodied. I think that this U.S. team played their hardest hardest matchup already. 
And because of Jokic, Jokic was showing what you can do from the center of position and feed your team to win the game. He didn't win the game, but you saw great play from him. Uh, feeding off of the high post, feeding off of the box, seeing who's open, taking that open three. He And he, he was hooking, but that's what he always does. He's a good, he, he's a big body center who knows how to use his big body. That's why he was doing what he was doing to all them little boys, Embiid and AD. But um, Rudy Gobert is not dominant on the offensive end. He may cause some, cause some defensive like disruptions here and there, but I think that they should be able to handle that. Um, Wimby, great on both sides of the ball. Other than that, it's the France team. They're going to be able to shoot. Now that Wimby is there, watch out for the lob threat. Other than that, if USA can hit their shots and take good shots, I'm not worried about it. The problem is sometimes I think they get trigger happy, start jacking, or they pass the ball too damn much. Overpassing. I think that it that's always seems to be an issue when Team USA brings about um, all of like its great players. They don't want to step on toes, so they overcompensate with the passing, overcompensate with the screen and roll, overcompensate with plays. I think they just need to play basketball. And I think they can work out. Talent-wise, uh, USA has all of the talent. Uh, Skill-wise, I think France has some skilled players. But I think the USA beats them out there as well. So I got USA winning uh, by like 10. I think that uh, France is going to put up a fight. But I still think USA got it. Change to the lineup ahead of this gold medal game. So France has played a couple of different ways here. They they obviously can play big with both Gobert and Victor Wembanyama. When the U.S. put this roster together and they recruited Joel Embiid, one of the teams they were preparing for was the French and the idea that they may need to use multiple centers at one time. That's why they've got three centers on the roster, Anthony Davis, Bam Adebayo, and Joel Embiid. But over the last couple of games where France has really turned everything around and pulled back-to-back -back upsets over Canada and Germany, they've played very small. Gobert has not played much at all. Victor Wembanyama has started at center. So if they go that direction, I would think that the U.S. would maybe look to play a little smaller. Now, I know what everybody wants to know. They want to know, is Jason Tatum going to play? Mm -hmm. Because for some reason, to a segment of the population, whether Jason Tatum plays or not, is the referendum on this team. Well, all I can tell you is this. Jason Tatum, on the, in the game against Brazil, uh, in the quarterfinal on Tuesday, he was the 11th man. He was the, he was the sixth player off the bench. He played because of foul trouble in front of him. So I would expect that he would be, again, on the fringe of the rotation. Steve Kerr talked about this today. He explained that in his viewpoint with the way that second unit is playing, he wants to keep them together, and it's, he referred to it as a math problem. And I understand you can get your calculator out and divide all the minutes by 12 and say everybody can play. But the evaluation here is that the way that they've got this first unit and second unit, the Tatum is really on the fringe. And and that is the... the mm, I mean, just Yeah, I don't think Tatum um, will get any minutes. He may get some garbage time. Um, he's along for the ride for the free gold medal. Let's just be honest. I think that the... Um, Steve Kerr is going to have to play big. I think because of how they're going to use Rudy Gobert and um, Wimby, I think they could run a two big lineup. Embiid at the five, AD at the four. I would have and always have AD on Wimby. I think he is one of the few big men in the league who can match up um, athleticism wise. Um, he's a solid perimeter perimeter defender at his size and he has good length, pause. My only problem is can AD stay out of foul trouble? I think sometimes he, um, well, he is the shot blocker. So he's gonna go try to block the shot. It's possible that these fouls could rack up, especially playing in this feeble rules. And sometimes these refs um, do sort of you know, push their team a little bit. But nevertheless, as long as they play smart, as long as you keep consistent lineups, 
as long as you limit Wimby's touches and let their offense try to run through Rudy Gobert, then I think that they don't have a problem. I think that Team USA can just can just clean it up, keep it quick and easy. Um, but that's pretty much all I got on this video. I don't want to I don't want to hold you guys. There's not much else to really be said here. I don't really give a fuck what a shooter that can't shoot um, has to talk about. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're streaming at 750 subscribers. So make sure you are ready for that. Um, I can't wait for that to happen so you guys can uh, care us out, man. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all later. Peace.